so this is the box for the Ultra 96 here with Avnet. And uh, who are you? Uh, my name is Brian Fletcher. I'm a technical marketing director within our engineering and technology group. Uh, we're happy to offer the Ultra 96 in partnership with Xilinx and 96 boards. We're gonna, it's a $249 kit. Uh, we plan to start shipping in April. So it says uh, reach further, design, uh, do all kinds of, uh, people are gonna do interesting projects with this, right? Yes, they are. So it's, uh, I think it's an interesting kit, especially for 96 boards. It's, it's the first one with the, with 64 bit arm and FPGA logic. So I think that'll, that'll be very interesting to people. I mean, the, the whole point with, with using a, a Xilinx SOC is that you can take your bottlenecks that you typically encounter in software and migrate those into the into the FPGA fabric that's on the SOC and achieve anywhere from three to eight thousand times acceleration that that you wouldn't be able to get with the within the processing system. So does Avnet work on all the different components and putting them together onto a board and do everything and stuff and sell and distribute? What is Avnet? So yes, so Avnet is a is a electronics component distributor. Um, we have many great partnerships in the in the field, so on this particular board, you'll see that we're using Micron for the LPDDR memory. We've used Delkin devices for the micro SD card. Um, we have microchip on the board. Um, so yeah, many, many different. Uh, so all these different key. components. Yeah, actually most of the interesting components are on the, on the bottom side of the board, but you can see we've got this nice little thermal bracket to, to help mitigate some of the some of the heat, so we've got a, a uh, this just this metal plate, yeah. and then there's a there's a fan running on the bottom. So the Xilinx device, the LPDDR, uh, the USB fives from microchip, a lot of those are on the bottom side of the board. And uh, because potentially people are going to be running the FPGA Max style constantly, it's nice to cool it off a little bit. Yes, yeah. I mean, like like any high performance uh, processor, you know, we we developed this uh, assuming we might need to dissipate up to eight watts, and so that's uh, that's what we've targeted, and we think we've got a great solution. Uh, and so, uh, uh, does AppNet provide? Let's say if people start with this, do a cool project, but then when they start customizing, doing new designs, doing new, if you partner them up with like design houses that can do stuff and do more. The custom designs. Are you talking about PCB design? Yeah, like uh, people start with this. Yes. But then they want to mass produce like a drone or something. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we have a, a design services group within Avnet called Avid, uh, and in fact, we have a lot of experience in manufacturing, in designing and manufacturing customizations. Um, so it started with Raspberry Pi. That's done within one of our one, within one of the Avnet companies. So we already have that model where we could take this design and uh, get into a, a, a services contract with someone to to modify it to fit their needs and then mass produce it for them. So then there's a price depending on how many quantities are and stuff like sure. that. Sure. Yeah. Depending on the complexity of the change, will determine what the NRE charge is, and then based on the volume and what they've requested to add, will determine. Uh, how expensive the 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 custom board is? Is that one of the biggest targets for Avnet to maybe get not just for, for the 96 boards, but to get to hundreds of different custom projects that will come out of it? That maybe would be very high volume. That would be very interesting. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to see that happen. I mean, we're also targeting our existing our existing customer base. We're partnering with 96 boards specifically because we we would like to start working more with software engineers and showing them what this is this type of hardware is capable of doing right there there's lots of software engineers doing all kinds of Linux <laughs> stuff yes and all this can run on this yeah absolutely yeah that's that's the great thing about it is is you get the best of both worlds you get the you get the the arm quad core a53 processing system that does all the traditional uh, Linux and processing things that people are used to, but then you add in the FPGA, which uh, gives you the somewhat, you know, it, it's very flexible, very powerful. Uh, you can create your own custom accelerators, a custom coprocessor, custom interfaces to basically anything out there. So it's it's incredibly powerful, and I think it'll be really interesting to you know to this group of people that are used to 
improving performance only by increasing clock speed or, or adding cores. That's no longer the case with this board. We increase the performance, staying with our same processing subsystem, but moving our bottlenecks into the FPGA fabric and creating uh, creating our own custom hardware. And you supply all the portfolio from Xilinx? This is just one of the FPGA chips, but there's some bigger ones, right? Yes, yes. So Avnet is Xilinx's, Xilinx's uh, number one distributor globally. We're the only global Xilinx distributor. Um, so we work very closely with them. We offer their full portfolio of any FPGA, any piece of IP, any tool chain that they offer, we offer through through Avnet. And it's also exciting that they announced a couple of days. The next generation is going to be seven nanometers and up to 50 billion transistors. <laughs> but so people start working on this, they'll be learning how to do the next gen too. Yes, a a absolutely. I mean, the base the base architecture, the the concepts, those those haven't changed for you know 20 years, but. Uh, there will be definitely some new uh, new twists and features in the new architecture, but it's it the investment that they make with this architecture will definitely carry over to the to the next architecture as well. 